name is Maggie Adams. I'm the science teacher here at the high school at the Jerusalem School of Bethlehem. And this morning we are hosting for our second year in a row our annual science fair. And you can see behind us that there is an example of what our students' work has been focused on. This is a group of seventh graders that have put together a research project about um, rethinking your drink. Now, this project, the whole science fair in general, is focused on trying to get the students engaged in hands-on learning, in science that is more real and less philosophical, or less book and words and the things that you would study in a normal classroom, and instead focus on things that you might study with actual experience, with actual life. One of the reasons we wanted to make a bigger focus on things like hands-on science is that in a lot of schools, there, uh, especially in this area, there's a focus mostly on memorizing facts and recalling dates and scientists and discoveries. And ultimately, if you want to go into a career in science, that is not at all what you would actually be doing with your time. Instead, we're trying to foster an experience of curiosity and an experience of investigation because it's inquiry-based learning that helps the students really engage all of the parts of the mind that will help to encourage a love and foster a desire to pursue science in a realistic way because the students will have an idea of what to expect if they were to go into a career of science. So the main goal, as I said, is to help them see the connection between question and inquiry and testing and then discovery. So ultimately we try to push all of our students to do this. In the past we've required them to stick with the subject that they were um, studying that year, but this year we were really excited to open it to be on any subject. So we have our biology students doing physics projects, our physics students doing chemistry projects, and we're hoping that this broadening of topic will allow our students to really investigate anything that they find interesting and allow them to learn to love learning for the simple purpose of developing their own mind in their own direction. We want to teach our students how to think, not what to think, and that's really the big purpose of our science fair.